we're going to use the platformer behavior to change the animation of the player. Now, to make the player swap animations, the first thing we need to do is split the player into two. The player and the other one will be the player collision. This will be the player clear. But I want to make sure of the spelling. Okay. The player will not need any platform or bounce to layout. This will just be needed pin. Pin makes objects stick together. So, on start of the layout, the player will pin to the player's collision. But they better have the same position. The flare collision will not need more than one energy because it is being invisible. And if the flare collision is on the floor, we have two options. If the flare collision is moving and we can make a moving invert or else. In this case, I will use else. So the flare will set the animation to walk. Else, the flare will set the animation to stand. If we check that, the player will walk and if it's standing, the player will set the animation to the stand animation. And the player, I mean the player collision, is jumping, the player we set the animation to our jump animation. If it's falling, it will set the animation to our fall animation. This way, the player is perfect animated. Everything is perfect, but the player sometimes walks backwards. To manage that problem, we're going to add the keyboard. If the key left arrow, press the player will get flipped. Or I mean mirrored and when pressing the right arrow the player will get not mirrored. Let's try that. This time the player can't go backwards. This is exactly what we need. If you like this tutorial, bye bye, see you next time.